a few bee-related incidents in the valley, some even resulting in deaths. Experts say that the South Texas weather is ideal for what some now call killer bees. New Center 23's Alfredo Quadros takes you, it gives you an inside look at South Texas bees and our special Hero of the Hive. All bees are born equal in the egg stage and in the larva stage. The only difference between a queen bee and a worker bee is the diet that gets fed to them. Experts say that aggressive bees and domestic bees are practically indistinguishable. Their appearance is the same and their behavior is similar most of the time. However, African honeybees are more likely to attack. We spoke to a cutting-edge bee expert to tell us more about these creatures. Once you get that first sting, you are the target for the rest of them. And they, that chemical apparently is very, very easy to identify from a distance with these bees, and they go right to you. The most common source of attack is people unknowingly destroying a hive. This gets any bee riled up to defend their home. The peak of bee-related incidents can be traced back to the early 90s, when the first recorded instances of Africanized bees came to South Texas. Even then, deaths were in the single digits. We don't really encounter killer bees as often now. Um, I don't think there's as many colonies in structures as there were back when there was a little bit more sensationalized um, Occurrences. The best recommendation is to check the area before working outdoors. You are not likely to have a wall infested with bees unless a building has been abandoned for years in a rural area. But in case you do spot a colony, here are a few things you can do. First, if you see no danger, you can call a beekeeper to remove them and relocate the bees without hurting them. Second, you can call a pest control company to remove and likely kill the bees in the process. Finally, you can contact your local authorities if bees are attacking you. So what can someone do in a, in a dangerous situation? Is the only thing you can do is just run away or... You... I mean, obviously you're not going to stay there and try to fight the bees. It's just there's no way you can... You'd be surprised sometimes what happens with people when they get overwhelmed. People may enter a state of shock when confronted with bees. This means they remain standing or they flee. If they do stay, Take the victim to a protected area while wearing protection yourself, if all possible. Now I have one reason why not to mess with them, and that is a little stinger at the end of their abdomen. Some folks can take more stings than others. The elderly, elderly and children can take less stings just because of their body weight. There's a common myth, I don't know how true it is, but uh, to, to jump in the water, is that, is that horrible? No, that's a horrible thing to do. That's the worst thing you can do. Well, that, I, don't know, I, I wouldn't say it's the worst thing you can do, but it is not. All you're going to do is limit the exposure to the bees at the moment you're underwater. But as soon as you come to the surface, the pheromone smell is still there and may attack you. The best course of action is to run away into any type of enclosure, a building, a home, or a car. Don't worry about bees following you. That will limit the number of bees attacking you from a few thousand to a few hundred. Soon, I'll be heading out with a beekeeper to see feral bees firsthand. The doctor says I might be psychologically disturbed, but I will be alright as long as I wear protection. Protection is key for myself and the beekeeper. This is one of the local beekeepers I'm entrusting my life with. Here, I'm gonna take my shirt off. And these are your feral bees. South Texas Beauty. For KBO News Center 23, I'm Alfredo Cuadros. Bees are said to be like most animals who are not likely to attack unless provoked. Tomorrow night, we'll show you the final installment of this two part special series. Well, with her. Though most bees aren't aggressive, any hive can become violent if they're disturbed or destroyed. News Center 23's Alfredo Cuadros brings us the final installment of the Hero of the Hive special report. I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut here, and then here, and I'm going to fold this down. I already got honey on the blade, wax, it's a good sign. Oh, ain't that something. I see, the homeowners are trying to sell this car, they can't sell it with the bees there. Yeah, honey dripping on my hand. This hive's old, it's been there for years. We're at an abandoned property in the outskirts of Edinburgh towards McCook. 
This is me and my camera. We're in a tight quarter between two vehicles. If a beast turned on us now, there is nowhere we can go. I asked our expert to give us some thoughts on our beekeeper's behavior. I don't know about taking off the shirt, but working around the bees totally unprotected is also because they have um, the history of having so many stings that are no bigger than little small mosquito bite reactions because a lot of them have become immune to the venom because they get stung so frequently. Yeah, they hurt. They just don't swell up as bad. They're always going to hurt. How do you do that? Do you just put your hand in there and scoop them out? Or? Yeah. Watch. Just like that. You're crawling inside my shirt. Stung. Take my shirt off. People are like, oh, you're showing off, you're showing off. Oh, that seems very counterintuitive. Like, why would you take your shirt off? Because uh, they, they're crawling on you, so when they're crawling on you, they pinch themselves on you, and thus uh, they sting you. It takes a true professional to be around these bees shirtless and then stick your hand in there. Now these bees are wild, and they can turn on us at any second. So you actually start seeing this, and you're like, man, all those could have stung me kind of deal. You know, all it takes is just that one. This man is a professional. By no means should you try to remove bees on your own. Most injuries occur when people try to spread chemicals or water without knowing the dangers within. Luis has been involved in this industry for decades. My later years, we were, ex we were always extreme growing up. Surfing, skateboarding, me and my brothers, and snowboarding, this and anything we can think that was extreme. So, you know, I started getting older and my body started wearing down too. And, you know, ain't nothing more extreme than this. You get to play with a smoker, you get to rip things up that aren't yours and not get in trouble for it, get paid for it. And you get to help humanity by saving the bees. And it's always a rush because you don't know where you're going to find it when you get in there. Most people don't quite understand his situation. He has two master degrees and is working as a consultant for local school districts. But for one reason or another, he comes back to working with bees. My mom gets mad at me all the time. She said I should be wearing a suit and a tie every day. My PhD, I should be a superintendent somewhere. Regardless, Luis and his assistant go out to the hives, just like or even more active than this. The assistant is Brian Rodriguez, a high school student that does this as a part-time job. It is pretty interesting and it is fun, so not everybody, not everybody can do it, not everybody does it. Why do you guys want to document this? So that people can see and people can be advised what they're working with and what they're getting into with instead of them doing it themselves and getting injured, injured and going to the hospital. I've never been around so many bees. How did I do? Oh, you did great. Now, you know, you buck up, you put that suit on, and you were out there just like one of us. If there's one thing this experience taught me, it was... When dealing with bees, you can be smart, be safe, and be strong. From Edinburgh, Alfredo Cuadros, KBEO, News Center 23. That was crazy. Experts say to be careful before working on any abandoned property and run for cover inside any building or vehicle in case of a bee attack. You don't want to run inside that vehicle, though. And don't try to remove a bee colony on your own. Well, Special Olympic